Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make Pranesh's favorite onion soup. The ingredients are, I have six medium size of onions that cut up in round circles. And I'm going to use a generous glug of olive oil and a generous grind of black pepper and to allow my onions to brown up I'm using half a teaspoon of sugar for the taste I have one teaspoon of rough salt and we will taste along the way thereafter I have 50 grams of butter two tablespoons of flour to thicken the soup and I'm going to use half a cup of wine and here yeah, I have vegetable stock powder so I'm going to use up a liter of boiling water so that makes four cups so to each cup I'm going to add a teaspoonful of stock powder and to top my soup I've got some brie cheese but you can always use cheddar or the cheese to your liking and I also have a French loaf which I'm going to toast. Firstly I'm going to start off by frying my onions. I've got my stove on, moderate heat. I'm just going to add in my olive oil. To my oil, I'm going to start adding in my onions. This onion will take a little long to get soft because it's quite a bit of onions. And I will keep stirring this till it gets soft. It has been a 10 minutes and you can see how my onions have sweated out. To my onions, I'm going to add up my sugar. and a generous grind of black pepper. Give this a good mix and give it another 10 minutes. 10 minutes has passed and my onions are starting to brown up. To these onions, I'm gonna add in my salt and I forgot to mention about using fresh thyme. And together goes in my 50 gram of butter. I'll give this a few minutes for my butter to melt out. Another 10 minutes has passed and as you can see these browning up of the onions. So I'm going to use up my half a cup of wine to deglaze these browning of the onions. Three minutes has passed out and the alcohol from the wine has already burnt out. To this, I'm going to add in my flour. To the onions, I'm going to add in my stock I 
give it a good mix and let this simmer for 30 minutes. 10 minutes has passed and the soup is getting a little too thick. So to this, I'm adding another cup of boiling water. I will also adjust if I'm in need of more water. 25 minutes has passed and I have five minutes on my hand and I've got my oven preheated at 150. And this is my French roll that I sliced and drizzled some olive oil to it. I'm gonna quickly pop in into the oven and give this eight to 10 minutes till it brown. For the last five minutes of cooking, I forgot to mention I'm gonna use a tablespoon of soy sauce to bring out a beautiful color and even give it a good taste. Thirty minutes has passed for the soup simmering and I'm going to switch my stove off and show you all how I'm going to finish it off. My French loaf has toasted. It's nice and brown. So I'm going to pick this up and place it onto my plate. I'm going to reuse my oven tray. Yeah, I have my mini casserole. So I'm just going to place it in. I'm just going to add in a ladle full. one and a half ladle. One and a half ladle. To this, I'm going to place in my French loaf bread. On top of the bread, I'm going to just put in my brie cheese to it. I'm going to pop this into the oven under the grill for about another five minutes till the cheese is nice and bubbly. minutes has passed and my cheese is nice and bubbly. Here you go, your lovely onion soup served with some nice toasted French loaf bread and on the top with some brie bubbly cheese. This onion soup must be eaten while it's still warm. This, is, this can also be made for a nice starter or for a nice cold weather. We are going to take a break for a little while because of my daughter's wedding. But in the meantime, there is a lot of recipes in my channel. You can watch and we will be back before you know it. Thank you all for watching and enjoy.